Hey all. And how you doing this morning? Um, I'm on my way to work. I just wanted to um, basically reshoot a video I shot last night. Um, couldn't get it upload because it was too large. So, um, so basically the video that I shot last night was about watching your Uber fares. And the reason why I wanted to bring this to people's attention is because um, I noticed on a fare earlier this week um, that Uber took something like 62%. And there's a lot of videos that you may or may not have seen about um, Uber videos, uh, Uber drivers posting about watching um, watching your money and about how Uber's taking like 80% of the fare. Um, and I didn't believe it. I watched the videos and I'm just like, no, that's, that's not happening to me. That's not something I have to worry about. Um, I went last weekend and I drove in my secondary market and I noticed that Uber was taking about 47 or 48% of all those fares. So I was still making out uh, better than Uber was but um, they were taking about half and I'd never seen that before. Um, and then earlier this week, I gave a, a couple Uber rides on Tuesday. Um, and the first one was fair. The first one I, I made $6 after tip. Uh, I think the rider paid something about something around $10, which included the tip. So Uber only made like four bucks. So that, that was fair. Um, still a higher percentage than I want them to take. It's about 40%. Um, but then the second fare is, is where I had the issue. So the second fare, um, I picked them up downtown. Uh, they were literally going from the grocery store to the hotel, um, which was downtown um, as well. So they, were, they literally were going less than a mile. It was like 0.95 miles. And I received the minimum fare for this ride, as I should have, because it w wasn't very far. It was less than a mile. Um, but when I, when I dove in and I looked further into the trip, um, which if you saw my Uber walkthrough video, you would know exactly what I'm referencing and how to look into that. Um, if not, go back and reference the video. But in any regard, I, I, I dove further into the video or into the fair and I noticed that my my rider paid 950 to go less than a mile and of that 950 I received three dollars and sixty cents so this seemed a little sketchy to me um, obviously I received 360 and uber would have received right around six dollars so they got almost double what I got and I did all the work so um, I emailed Uber and I asked them to explain the discrepancy uh, to which they gave me the generic, you know, the, basically their response was that they offer their customers upfront pricing. And so what that means is um, the riders are told when they request a ride how much that ride is going to cost. That is the most that they will pay for that ride. In fact, that is, in almost every case, the exact fare they're going to pay for that ride. Minus a tip, of course. Um, so if they're quoted $9.50, that's what they're going to pay. If they add a tip, then they'll obviously pay $9.50 plus the tip. But, um, so $9.50 is what they were quoted, and that's what they paid. And so when I reached out to Uber, they gave me the line about, well, we offer upfront pricing now, and you know, you as a driver, you're still paid the same. You know, you're still paid distance and time, which I was, plus the minimum, the minimum fare supplement because it was below the minimum fare. Um, so all that's true. I was still paid the same, but where I had the issue was the fact that um, when Uber first started my market, that particular ride would have been about six bucks, six fifty, six six thirty-five, I think to be exact is what that ride would have costed. So either there was a surge that they weren't passing on to the drivers or they were just blatantly overcharging. So um, I, I, I guess the message here is to, to pay attention to your fares. Make sure that you're looking 
um, and that uh, your rider is being properly charged. Some people don't care what the rider pays. Um, I generally don't. But if I'm doing more of the work, I don't want Uber getting a larger portion of the fare than what I'm making. It doesn't make sense to me. So I'm looking at all my fares. Um, I have not driven Uber since Tuesday. I've driven strictly Lyft. Um, I haven't decided about this weekend yet. I think I'll make more if I drive both, um, obviously, but I, I'm i still kind of angry. Um, so the end result of that whole thing was I requested a refund on behalf of my rider uh, because I told them that I quoted the trip and uh, I routed the trip via their passenger app and it told me it was going to be 635 so I requested that they refund the difference to my rider, um, which they did, um, but in the process of doing so, it took another 50 cents from me. Or not 50, like 30, 36 cents probably. Um, so my portion dropped to 320 instead of 360. Um, and Uber received 311. So again, that's still like 40, Uber's still taking like 48%. So, um, I guess I've kind of come to grips with the fact that they're going to take about 50% of almost all the fares. Um, but if it's more than 50%, it needs to be addressed and you need to reach out to Uber support and try to get a little bit of that money back. I apologize for the choppy picture. I am driving to work, as I said. Um, but again, um, the, the general message here is pay attention to your fares. Go in through the... The, the trip um, where, where, you, where you go to your earnings and then go to fair details and look at what the rider paid and if it's in proportionate reach out to Uber fight for it um, request a refund on behalf of your rider if, if you know and again I did it because Uber didn't do anything okay Uber Uber doesn't do anything okay Uber set up the app that's all they do right I'm the one that took the rider from point A to point B. So I should be the one getting the larger portion of the fare. That's the only reason I did it. It had nothing to do with the rider itself. It was more about the, the principle of the fact that I did more work for that ride than Uber did. So um, Uber should not be getting more of the fare than the driver does. So pay attention to your fares. And uh, you know I'm not gonna tell you to boycott, boycott Uber. I have this week, I probably won't this weekend. Um, but, um, I have to wrap it up because I just arrived to work. So, um, leave comments, questions below, subscribe if you're new and, uh, I will do a lift, a lift app walkthrough probably early next week and, uh, lift on. Well, I'll see you next time.